it's travel day as we are off to Orlando for some theme parking here South Terminal at Gatwick free Aperol to start the day I have to say I sell absolutely loads of Aperol at work absolutely loads of it and then yeah into duty free which I never really find that I don't know I never find it that cheap until you get to sort of cigarettes which I don't smoke I don't know maybe it's cheap is that cheap yeah, I guess it is actually isn't it 14 yeah I guess at um, 14 49 for one of those is quite cheap I'm not stocking up. I mean, we're on our way out for one, so we're not going to buy it on the way out. But yeah, we're just going to take you on our travel vlog as we head over to Orlando, Florida. We can't wait. Can't wait. After hours of waiting, it's delayed. The typical BA story these days. I don't really fly enough to know sort of the gate numbers and things, but all the BA planes are out there. Gate 27 is where we're heading to. Getting used to the exercise here, not using a travelator. Got a few 30,000 steps days coming up. I've managed to fall over on absolute, absolute flat ground there. I've managed to fall over. That is, that's quite impressive. We're getting the steps in early, just getting the exercise, getting ready. Won't be using these at Universal either when we get there. You wait, you wait. is here waiting I'm finally getting on board after a delay and it's actually a BA one as well but it's seeming like it's sharing it with American Airlines I'm guessing it's gonna be full now I don't know if this has been updated yet because this says flight time 821 but I believe on the way out it's 921 the way the winds go so that's actually said we're arriving at 522 but not expecting to arrive until much later there we are it's not raining here at Gatwick Sitting right on the wing, is that a good or bad thing? Uh, BA aren't quick at doing anything to be honest with you and I think when we look at the BA flight which we'll, when we get to the hotel we'll give you a tour of the hotel when we get there yeah I don't think it was as good as the Tui one to be honest with you last year a little bit tired UK time is approximately approaching 2am just to give you an idea it's about obviously nearly 8 nearly 9pm here absolutely exhausted but we're here can't film anything on the inside of these they're really really strict here in America here we are at the Rosen Inn International. Now I have waited until the next day to, to kind of give you a little tour around here and give, give you a room tour. It was quite dark last night, it got quite late getting here, checking in. But first things first, the lobby's just down here on the left hand side. You can see out here there's a swimming pool in the middle there. We'll catch that from the building very, very shortly when we go back to the room. Um, 
Now, anyone that watched our preparation video, it was very much £226 for BA to transfer us from the airport to here, which is about a 30 minute journey, or 30 minute journey by car, it might take a bit longer, I guess, with transport. Um, given that we were out quite quickly, actually, and everyone else wasn't, and there's other people that we've seen on the plane that are here, um, it was $39, which is £31, it translated to after fees, to get an Uber, which we walked straight outside, ordered it, and straight here. So that is absolutely my recommendation if you're coming into Orlando International, is to get an Uber if you haven't paid for transport. Forget just how hot it is here. So here's your main lobby, obviously you're coming from that way. And then as you walk in to the Rosen Inn International. Sharp vacation planning. So you do get free transport down to SeaWorld and Universal. I'm not going to be using it. It doesn't leave at a particularly good time. Uh, book the night before if you do want it, though. You won't get it on the day. Bar well, down the bottom. Nice little shop. Very expensive. And then you can get a breakfast plan to come in here. Seven breakfast between 6 30, 10 30, dinner between 5 30 and 9. That's not where you can eat buffet for $13.95. Dinner $17.99. I'd imagine that include your last bit tax on top of that. 6.5% tax and a £5 service charge is actually added. You can see in there, buffet. I won't be trying the buffet, to be honest, at that price. Not super busy for eight o'clock in the morning. Nice little seating area over there, and we'll head back up now and show you the room. Can't get little vending machines. I have to say, the frustration you can't get like Coke Zero or Pepsi Max really easily. It's something else. I'm not a massive fan of Diet Coke, and obviously, Main Coke really does really put some calories on out here with Main Coke. Here's the view from the balcony. So these are five floors high on the third floor this time around. You can see the swimming pool over the back there. That seems to be open all the time, to be honest. Well, certainly within reason, because uh, we got here last night. There were people in the swimming pool, sort of nine, half nine, ten. Even when it started to thunder down, there was. You can see Volcano Bay over that side. We'll have Icon Park around to the right. And it's currently 28 degrees here. It's the humidity. Not actually expecting a lot of sun this time of year, believe it or not. But my God, it's hot and muggy. And that's really what gets you. Right, let's take you inside the room. Most important thing in the room, undoubtedly, is the aircon. So it's two queen beds. I'm guessing they're queen beds. They're definitely not king beds. Which is very odd, really that they put two in rather than a bigger bed and maybe bunk beds I don't really know to be honest I don't really know and then bathroom facilities very very basic as you would expect it's actually quite a good shower head though I will hand that so this is effectively equivalent to a three star hotel so back home this is this is a travel lodge um, basically so facilities wise are going to be very very basic um, it is complimentary shampoo and conditioner supplied uh, in addition of course you get your hair dryer you also get an iron spare toilet roll great thing as well so you do get a fridge which i think is on it's got no light but it does feel cold and indeed microwave coffee machine if you want to buy the pods because they don't give you any pods another little painting not really relevant here's your iron your ironing board cupboard space and then you've got drawer space as well you know what I think for the price which is what you kind of have to look at it's not too bad it's not too bad um, I think it's really good value to be honest with you really really good value and I was standing here honestly I'm sweating already I only walked outside it's a nice TV I have to say I feel there were more channels last year there's only about nine channels that work if you want to watch weather or horror as in true crime horror this is the place to be. This is the place to be. You've got a safe, which you won't be using to be honest with you, but there's a little safe in there. And everything is done by lamps. Now, there aren't actually that many plugs around, but all the plugs are sort of attached to like alarm clocks or lamps. 
which I just find so peculiar, to be honest with you. Like, really peculiar. That's actually got two bulbs in. Yeah, I just find it really odd. We've arrived. All the vlogs coming up from here will be sort of day one, day two, day three, day four, and we'll take you through the day as we go.